Hey everybody, Massachusetts Prepper here. Well, I've been promising for some time that I was going to take and bring you all a video about the Gerber Dime and the Leatherman Micra. quite some time I've been carrying the Leatherman Surge. Now this isn't always practical to carry because the, the Surge has quite a bit of weight to it and even though I carry it on outings and stuff I do keep it in my vehicle whenever I'm out and about because it's just a lot beefier and I can carry all the bits and everything that I really like in this setup. I also carry a ferro rod and striker in here <coughs> and the extension bit for the bit kits and in this um, nylon pouch I'm able to carry both the, the um, bit kits so not only am I able to carry the surge I'm also able to carry both bit kits that go with it and the diamond file that goes with it as well so I can carry the entire kit in this pouch which is very nice the leather sheath that comes with this, you can't get everything in it. So that's the, the downside. I will be doing an updated review on the Surge and what I think about it after a year of use. Uh, it's a fine tool. Absolutely nothing wrong with it whatsoever. But I find that more often than not, I have these two little tools in my pocket and they get used more than the surge does just for the smaller things I mean if I've got to really crank on something to loosen a, a bolt or something I'll use the surge but um, between the Gerber dime and the micra it's able to handle most tasks now I have been asked in the past why do I carry both you know the dime and the micra well they both fill two different niches <clears throat> I'll start off with the Gerber dime now of course we have a bottle opener on it which is uh, comes in handy if you're opening bottles you know uh, it does a fine job on that there's a relatively nice little uh, knife blade on here and I mean it's not the sharpest thing in the world but at the same time it's not the dullest either I just grab this out of my trash can uh, it will cut and I mean I haven't touched this up and this is sticky and it's not the best paper to try to cut. But it, it does okay. I mean that is sticky. If I had a regular piece of paper here, um, you'd see it does a much better job. But it does have the nice little knife blade. Over here, this thing comes in handy. This is a box cutter. Uh, and it does work pretty good. On the other side we have a file and a small screwdriver. We have another larger screwdriver here. And on this side we have some scissors. The scissors aren't the greatest in the world. And let me grab a package here. Just so I can show you. I mean, they do all right. They will cut. But they are kind of small. <clears throat> but the shining star on the Gerber dime is the pliers. And they're not huge by no means, but uh, they do get the job done. I mean, you can get onto a regular, you know, um, a smaller nut that needs to be tightened or loosened and, and uh, works real well. They work real well when I'm messing around with my RCs um, because there's nothing on an RC that these will not handle. But uh, it does look like they have wire cutters there. Don't try to cut any wire with them. They, it's not wire cutters. Uh, it's made to look like wire cutters, but they do not cut. But overall, these things will handle most 
most things that you need to, to do with them, um, they handle it quite well. So um, the Gerber Dime is something that I keep in my pocket. Now the Micra, and everybody has asked me, okay, MP, why do you carry two small multi-tools? Well, the Leatherman Micra has a whole different set of tools. And the, the main thing in the Micra is the scissors. And these are bigger, beefier scissors. And as you, you see, where those are, uh, the ones on the dime, I was just cutting the paper. I'm cutting through the entire envelope here. As you can see, it's the scissors. And I like the way the scissors cut with the Micra a lot better than the smaller ones on the Gerber dime. And if you're holding these out here like this, um, they work quite well. Now there's a few other tools on here. There's a smaller screwdriver and a bottle opener. You also have the Phillips screwdriver. And then what I like about the Micra is the tweezers. They come in very handy when out in the woods and stuff you get a sliver. Uh, you pull them out and away you go. Now here we have a file on this side and of course the fingernail tool and then we have a bigger screwdriver right here and then of course you have your blade and let me close these up now the blade is not ideal because as you see um, it's positioned on the top of the tool so it makes if you're trying to you know cut into something and cut down uh, this is always going to hit the table or whatever first but let me grab another envelope here and see if I can show you this one's beat up a little bit worse but again you know not the sharpest and I can't cut down through too much of this but you get down there to where the sticky stuff is and it's not going to work so well but as you can see it does cut and again I've been using this for a year and I have not touched the blade up at all so that's just from being used but not the greatest blade but it does work and you know like I said the shining star of the Micra and this is you know it's got the spring assist as you can see right there so you know the shining star for the Micra is the bigger scissors and that's why I carry both because the Micra has the bigger scissors and works well with the tweezers this has you know the bottle opener that the Micra don't have a couple more screwdrivers and the pliers more often than not rather than carrying the beast I have these two in my pocket I do always have this in my vehicle or somewhere around so I can utilize the bigger pliers you know if needed um, or the bigger blades and as you see on this Leatherman Surge the blade is positioned at the bottom so you can utilize the entire blade while cutting <clears throat> um, but of course the Surge does have much better scissors that function a lot better as well I said I'm gonna be doing a follow-up review on the Surge and you know what I've really liked about it over the past year of use but this video was pretty much to showcase the Gerber Dime and the Leatherman Micra and let you know what I've thought about these two after the, the past year. And if I had to pick between one or the other, it would be a hard choice because I do utilize them both all the time. Like I said, the scissors and the tweezers on the Micra is, you know, something that I use a lot. But the pliers on the Gerber Dime... Uh, you know the bottle opener I really don't use it functions well but I don't use it and you know the extra screwdrivers if I had to take one and then, like I said this is a hard choice 
because I do use the, the tweezers on this one a lot. But if I could only take one with me and use only one, I would probably have to take the Gerber dime because of the pliers. It does have the scissors. There is no tweezers. But um, the blade, I feel, is a little bit better in this one as well. And I don't have to open the tool to get to any of the blades. And the blade on this one is positioned in the bottom. Um, where, you know, I can access all the tools from the outside without ever opening it. Where this one, I have to open it, take the tool out, and then close it back up. So, the Gerber dime would be my choice of mini pocket tool to take with me. Will you survive whatever comes your way? I sure hope so. This is the Massachusetts Prepper saying, take care all. Don't matter because it's a poor car. But look at those poor lines, guys. Silver Slacker, I'm sure you can appreciate those poor, poor lines. Nice looking piece right there. This is the Captain. This is the two ounce silver ultra high relief. Now y'all saw this because my son